keywords. We have our keywords set up. Okay. Now you have the option. So these are the search keywords. These are the ones that we are bidding on. <clears throat> Negative keywords are keywords that we want to add to a campaign that we don't want to show up for. Okay. So if I'm in tree service and somebody, let's say a, a local, another a competitor is looking for ideas. Um, we don't want your ad to show up. So let's say someone's looking for, I've, I've seen all these searches. So let's say somebody's looking for business cards. I like the word business. I do not like the word cards because somebody who's looking for tree service doesn't care about cards. So I'm going to put cards. I'm going to do singular and plural card and cards. Okay. Some people are looking for tree service business plans. We don't want that. So we'll do biz. We'll do uh, plan plans. Uh, we don't want equipment. Uh, this is a general uh, negative keyword that we always want to put in there, unless you are the cheapest. Um, cheap. We don't want cheap. We don't want free. People looking for free. Or we don't want donate, donated, donations, any of those types of things. Okay? We want to make sure our ads aren't showing up to people who are not specifically looking for tree services. Okay? And we're doing this at the ad group level. So, um, so here's an example. So that's just for tree service. If I wanted to do tree removal, here are my tree removals. I don't want somebody who's really, who, uh, if, let's say I don't do stump grinding or stump removal and I just do tree removal, tree trimming. I don't do stump removal because there's not as much money in it. I just want uh, tree removal. So I'll go into my tree removal ad group and I'll go to negative keywords. And anybody who's putting in the word stump, stumps, grind, grinding, grinder, people looking for grinding equipment. Like we wanna get rid of all of these things. Um, you're not gonna know them all once you start these campaigns, but you can have a good idea of, of keywords you don't want your ad showing for. We've been doing this forever. So I have negative keyword lists that are already established. So when we start these campaigns and we hit go, we don't have to worry about any of these. Like it's a well-oiled machine. Um, but as you go and you, if you're gonna do this on your own, you're gonna see in here after a while, and I'll, I'll let me pop one up for you. I'm gonna blur out the top so you can't see who that is. Um, here's the search terms. You know, we're looking at tree removal near me, tree removal near, like these are good search terms. Okay, some of these, um, they look pretty good. Depending on if they're, if they're, if you're servicing a certain area, you may wanna get rid of it. What we also like to do is get rid of competitors' names too. Um, sometimes you will be able to get some of your competitors leads but i'm um, the vast majority of people if they're looking for save a tree or they're looking for sergio's or a specific company um they're not gonna they're they already have somebody has recommended them they've used them before the click-through rate the amount of people that click on the ad for the amount of times it's shown uh is super low and the cost per conversion is super high so it's not worth it's not worth the money so um Give you an example. Yeah, we have tons and tons and tons of these in these in these campaigns. Let me move myself. Nine hundred and forty-five. Okay. Let's go back. You want the net when you as you get into these and you start optimizing these campaigns and you can see these search terms. Whatever is not relevant for your company, get rid of it. That's very very important for opt optimizing it. Again, I'll do another video on optimizing uh, later. Hope that you found this helpful. If, if you like this content, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be producing tons of other um, local service company marketing strategies that have just really, really worked and have benefited a lot of companies over the last 14 years that we've been doing this. Um, so stay tuned and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.